Well, good afternoon. I'm gonna try to explain what I think, what my theory is on why this uh, derailment happened. It was on curve 18, happened on a Thursday, about five o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, tore up about 1,400 feet of track. I had also destroyed over 700 ties, and uh, the guys worked around the clock, got it back together they ran the first trip around two o'clock over that section of track on Saturday I think it was just phenomenal what uh, what they did so I know I've, I've got probably seven or eight videos I've made up there of different parts of the derailment and also uh, them fixing it and and other stuff so I decided to show this one second because I know I'm gonna get 25,000 questions why did it derail so I'll try to give you my my, my theory on this okay I went up there and uh, looked we've got really good ties in there and uh, there's no mud at all it's all good ballast and the super elevation right before where it went off was almost perfect it's a 25 mile an hour track the train operator was going through there at 22 miles an hour so i i, I highly doubt if the track had anything to do with it now we're looking at a truck set this is this is the truck set that came out from underneath the cymx 20 that was the first car that went off the front uh, so here's my theory now i don't know if this damage here happened because of the derailment or it was part cause of the derailment where it had been already had been broken anyway this truck set when it goes into a curve well, before i explain that let me that's a liner in there that yellow thing and i'm not sure if it's a teflon liner or it's a hard plastic uh type of liner this is what it would look like brand new. Um, seeing it fits in that center bowl. That's called a center bowl. And this is a bolster. And that's your center pin. That's what your, your truck sets down on. Your body of your truck sets down on here. Uh, also, the when, when the guys do that, they put grease. They put two tubes of grease in here. Uh, they're packets of grease. Uh, they're about, about about as much as a tube holds. So this is the way the truck set, the first truck set that came off, was facing into the curve. It was a right-hand curve. It's curve 18, and it's an eight-degree, 30-minute curve. It's got uh, 2.75 inches of super elevation in it. So. When this, this is a uh, right-hand curve too. It's not nearly as sharp. This is about a three degree curve, but I think you, I can explain it here. When this truck set goes into this curve, it's got to swivel. You know, it's got to swivel. So that truck set's got to be swiveling. So it hits this rail, the front wheel hits that wheel, reel, and it's like a steering. It's like uh, steering your car through a curve you know you got to turn the wheel if you don't turn the wheel the car is going to go straight now if that truck set gets bound up and doesn't want to swivel correctly it's going to want to keep on going straight okay and the purpose of the super elevation in the curve is not so much for the truck sets but for the car body Okay, because that car body, even though that truck set is swiveling, say we got a good truck set and it's swiveling through this curve, that body still wants to go straight. Because remember, these are loaded cars, so that wants to go straight. And now the super elevation that we add in there, that counteracts that force of that car body going straight, where it gets it like this. The car body wants to follow the curve. <laughs> so it's a really well thought out engineering thing uh, and it works really well but when something doesn't work well 
Okay, so here's my theory. This truck set, because either because of this damaged ring in here or because it got bound up and didn't swivel, you can see there's there's uh, a lot of friction there with with no grease uh, any in there. Um, I'm thinking that that truck set wanted to go straight. The car body wanted to go straight. And what happened is, when that happens, the weight wants to shift over. Okay, so you get too much weight shifted over. That'll make these outside wheels ride up a little bit on this rail. Now remember, our spikes in here, they hold track gauge. They'll hold the track down to a certain extent. But the main purpose of the spikes, if you watch my spike video, is to hold the track gauge. Not the weight of the rolling stock holds the rail down. So if that truck set has come up off of there, even just a little bit, you know, the weight's not holding it down. And your flange is coming up higher, and it's kind of like wanting to go straight, pushing that out. I have an effect of wanting to push that out. And I think that's because if it started to push out, that's what started pulling these spikes. So uh, obviously when you pull your spikes, you know, our track gauge is 56 and a half inches. Uh, <laughs> around 59 inches, that track gauge becomes wide enough that those car wheels are going to fall through. So I'm thinking this is what, this is, uh, what caused that. Is uh, that truck set did not want to swivel correctly through the curve for whatever reason like i said if it's uh it should it should be a lot more lubricated than than what you're seeing here uh, and again whether this this uh this would have been the low side of the car and uh if this also helped shift the weight over this way so that these wheels started coming up so it just started and uh started pulling the spikes and the, and the gauge widened and then it started this these wheels started rolling the rail over so that's my theory on why it happened because i can't see anything up there in the track conditions that would have caused that to happen okay uh when they brought these the halter put the cars back on they brought them back down here i made the suggestion Get that car number 20 in the shop, jack it up, look at these center bowls, look at these liners, see see if uh, we got a problem there. And we do definitely, I mean, it was a good move. It was a good call. Um, and they got it out and they got a new truck set under there. And you see this? I'm thinking that this had broken out before the derailment because, okay, this is Sunday afternoon, that was Thursday afternoon, and it's really rusty. Um, I could be wrong on that. This, this could have, this damage could have occurred, you know, um, when the car came off. That's something we'll never know, you know. Anyway, that's, uh, that's my theory. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, these truck sets have to swivel, and if they don't swivel, uh, ugly things can happen. And I think that, that was the problem. This truck set just would not swivel like it's supposed to, you know, around that curve. So there you have it. Uh, <laughs> I, I know this is going to contribute to a lot of uh, a lot of comments, a lot of discussion. Like I said, I've got seven or eight, maybe nine videos. I kind of lost track here. It's been a long four days, believe me. Uh, I've been tamping the last two days, and the track's pretty decent shape. We can. Uh, I'm comfortable with running it back up to track speed at 25. Okay. So here you have it. Um, I'm, I'm really tired. If I, <laughs> I said it's been a lot of hours, uh, a lot of work here these four days. So I wanted to explain that and uh, hope that helps out a lot. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy the, the rest of the videos. Uh, I've got uh, another video of, the, of all the rail rolled out uh, another one of the uh, locomotive it's off and uh, plus a lot of the repair work that the guys did okay unfortunately you know this is railroading 
but unfortunately it's a part of railroad and that nobody really wants to see happen but it happens it does happen and we've another thing we've had many derailments in the past over the years uh, we only had two cars and a locomotive go off this time uh, that's the first well there might have been one other time we had a locomotive go off main main line uh, we've had locomotives go off before in sidings and stuff but anyway we've had many uh several, um, i can think of maybe four derailments we've had where we've had six or seven cars off loaded on their sides and that was ugly but honest to goodness this is this this one that you're going to see has tore up more track than any other derailment that we've ever had and several of the contractors that came in said this is the worst track uh worst track uh tear up they've they've ever seen so okay i'm going to get off of here thank you very much for watching i uh, do appreciate it and uh have a really good day